day. And uh, let me tell you that this will be the second time in my own life to preach in an English church. <laughs> okay? Uh, before I introduce to you uh, what is happening here, let me share a little experience of mine, how I became and joined the church. In fact, I was uh, an enthusiastic uh, Catholic boy, and uh, I loved my church. I loved my church because every Sunday, I wanted always to join that church, to go to that church. And because of that love, someone talked about the something in the head of the pop. And that from that day uh, was opening my mind to seek for the truth. And uh, because of that thing, I wanted to know what was truth. And because of that truth, I will skip everything. My father for joining this church was uh, ready to send me out of our home. But uh, I told him, Jesus can save me, but not you. I have to follow you, follow him. And uh, he threw his, my Bibles to me to tell to you that it is not easy to join this church. But uh, what about you? Who is standing, who is sitting here today? Is it so easy for you to follow Jesus Christ that you feel like... Uh, it is uh, flowing like water now. Do you think that uh, there is no need anymore for any uh, introspection of self regarding am I in the right path? Today, uh, even though I am an MPS student, it is my happiness to give credit to the team who sent me here. And I am working for the uh, GC Sun Plus team. Surely you know that uh, team. Maybe some of you have never heard about that team. Uh, Sun Plus is the GC, uh, let us say, group team that is working under the GC Sun Plus, the, uh, uh, the GC treasurer, who is uh, uh, dealing with, the sun, with uh, accounting software of the church. And uh, as uh, in charge of that accounting software, we have uh, about 18 worldwide team who are in charge of that Sun Plus. We have a director, which is, who is uh, Dr. Mark Tennyson, and then an associate. And we have uh, about five uh, departmental directors. And we have also like about seven um, Sun Plus specialists all over the world. And each of the institutions here, I can think of them, are implemented on Sun Plus. And about 10 divisions over 13 are on Sun Plus now. And we are serving all of them. So it is really a privilege to be in front of you today uh, as a, a member of that uh, worldwide team. And uh, today I would like to uh, discuss especially about uh, something that is relevant to our life. Relevant in the fact that uh, there is always, always some issues, some problem with us. Is the micro uh, going? Yes. Okay, thank you. I like to listen to your voice, but I don't see any smile in your faces. Okay, are you happy that this is Sabbath? Yes. Yes, yes you are happy. So today, we would like to address about Noah, the man, the man of the situation. But before we do that, let us uh, uh, pray and ask wisdom from God. <coughs> Our Heavenly Father, what a privilege to be the one whom you have chosen today to, to bring your word in front of these people. You know how young I am. I don't know, but I know that uh, you have chosen me today 
to bring your word. So may your Holy Spirit be with me to tell to every and every one of these people that they need to be the men and women of uh, the situation as well. Help us to understand the, your word and inspire us today so we could be encouraged for this Sabbath. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I was like 16 years old. And uh, 16 years old, I was not yet speaking English yet when I joined the Seventh day Adventist University in Madagascar. And I would like to encourage you that these universities here are not set not by any azad, but this is for God's purpose. From that university, I learned English. From that university, I learned IT. Okay, from that university, I even found my wife. So God is with our universities. We need to support them. And I can tell you, if we need to raise any salaries and allowances, it is for lecturers and people from these universities. Because they are preparing the future of our church, wherever they are. If you are with me. Okay, thank you very much. We would like to talk about uh, Noah, the man of the situation. <coughs> Regarding that uh, Noah, let's understand the environment that is uh, behind the scene there. We can see, for example, when we check here, that um, God has something in mind when he thought and when he uh, described how the environment where people lived on that day. And he is telling here, the earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. Genesis 6, verse 11, and KGV. What it means to be corrupt, feel full of violence. We can see that uh, uh, corrupt as described in Google Translator, in from Google, it is telling that someone having or showing a willingness to act dishonestly in return for money or personal gain. Are you corrupt? Am I corrupt? This is the question. If someone is corrupt, he is seeking always for personal gain first. Number two, his, self, uh, his selfishness leads every motive when he is making a decision in the committee, in the church, that is a corrupt person. And the third one is every service that you request from that person is paying. You have to ask him how much. He is always to ask you how much. What am I gaining from that one? That is a corrupt person. And we are surrounded of persons like that in our life. But what shall we do? There is a, a need then because of that one. Because the environment, the society where before the flood was corrupt, there was a need after that one. So God himself said, talked about that need. He said, the end of all flesh has come before me. For the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. So the need here is very clear. Number one, refreshing everything corrupt. Are we living in a corrupt place now? So what is waiting for this place where we are living now as well? To be refreshed. As you can see here, we need, God needs to refresh everything which is corrupt. Number two, saving anyone who believes in him. Do you believe in God? Do you really believe in God? 
or it is only your name that you are Christian? Because we see in the face, in the life of a Christian, that he is really a Christian. Not by name, but by act. Okay, number three. Back up a sample for every species of his creation. I like to use that name, um, sorry, I like to use that name backup. It is related to what? IT. IT, yes. And IT likes backup because if there is something happening, you need to what? To backup. And that is happening as well in our daily life. If something is happening in your house now, what will you do to prevent from that one? If something is happening from the, the, uh, the car for the kids, do you have a backup? And uh, Jesus is talking about backup when he said, don't make a backup online on earth, but put it where? In heaven. Because there, you're sure that it will be there forever. And then, let's continue. If we knew that uh, there is a situation of corruption within the society, and then there is a need here to solve that issue, what can be the solution for that issue? The solution, God is very clear regarding it. Noah was a, a just man, perfect in his generations. Noah walked with God. Can we replace the name of Noah with your name, my name? He is the man of what? The situation. the situation. Are you the person of the situation as well? How do we know such person in our life? To understand that one, <coughs> there is a need for what? Number one, a just man. Which means in his judgment and decisions, he is showing that he is just. He is faithful. He cannot be sold and cannot be bowed as Ellen G. White is telling us. That is the man of situation. A perfect in his generation, which means he is clean in everything in his actions. By the way, as an accountant as well, every of the organizations of the church is striving to have a clean Opinion. Opinion. Are you a perfect one? That's the reason. It is not because Jikas want to make you suffer. No. He wants to see, to show to the world that all the Adventist organizations and entities are perfect just as God has planned for it. Mm -hmm. Number three, walk with God. For him, being a Christian is not only a name. It was a lifestyle style. You can see through God his phone that he is a Christian. You can see from his alarm that he is a Christian. We can see from the planning of his uh, life that he is a Christian. That is the solution. But uh, really, I would like to address only three main characters of the man of the situation. The number one that we would like to see is called a builder. A man of the situation who can solve the issue of God is a builder. What characters are we seeking? How can we know that you are a builder? Just to see. Number one, he always take the initiative. When something is happening, he is not blaming the one whom he is succeeding. He is always taking what? Initiative. initiative. Are you such a person in your life? Are you always blame others for everything happening in your life? I wish you, you are a builder. How do we know that one? It is telling us that uh, a builder is always someone who is raising resources. He is taking care of finance 
and materials. He is taking care of human resources in need for being a builder. In order for you to build that building over there, you need all of these items. Am I right? Yes. Number two, he needs to enhance skills. How can you build a house or an ark without any skill? If you build the ark without skill, that ark will be sinking. The house will be destroyed if there are some events. And that is why you need to enhance skills. And we are happy that uh, we have such university here to enhance our skills here because that is the purpose of this university. So everyone here can be a builder as it is telling here, told here as well. Number three, he is influencing for collaboration. A builder is never someone who knows to be, to play alone. God's work is never done alone. It is always uh, in a team with group. There is always collaboration that God wants for every builder on earth to work. Number two, Sito. As we see, the man of the situation is a builder. But the second item as well is the man of the situation should be a servant. How do we know a servant in our life? The servant, very easy, is always someone providing others need. Though you are you that people, when someone is requesting for help to you, will you always tell to people you're bothering me? You're someone that is uh, always requesting help? Or are we happy when people are needing our help? I wish you are such person who always provide others need. First of all, what need others need? Provide food. A builder is someone who knows the appropriate feed and type of food of every other creature within the ark. What do you think will happen if uh, Noah gave, uh, let us say, uh, grass to the lion? Will the lion eat for seven months? What do you think if uh, Noah gave uh, to the cow something inappropriate? So for you as well, when you come back to your organization, to your district, to your church, give people what they need not what you think they need. That is different. Give them what they need, not what you think they need. Investigate, make surveys, make questionnaires. That is the reason you are here. We are here because we need to investigate what people need. Number two, as a servant, you have to heal with attention. Some people are just uh, healing others when they are wounded. But like a doctor, heal them with attention. Pay attention with what they are telling to you. Because the reason he is coming or she is coming to your office is because they have or she has or uh, he has no other option than entering the, the, the office of the CFO. But when he has seen or she has seen the face of the CFO, she wants to go out. He wants to go out. But you need to heal such a people with attention. Pay attention. And the last one as a servant, you need to clean with passions. Do you know that uh, during the ark, there was, when they constructed the ark, there was no washroom inside of that ark. Let me explain it again. There was no toilet inside of that ark. Okay? So, if there is no toilet, no washroom, what do you think was the smell inside of that ark? But uh, as a builder, you need to get passions to live with people. A lot of our churches 
of our members, they are leaving the church because there are a lot of smile inside of the church. But if you want to leave, remain in Duviark. If you go out, death is outside. No option. That is not an option. That is for survival. So you have to get passions. And you need to clean as well inside of Yak for you to be able to help others to live inside of Yak. And the last uh, trait of character of such a person of situation is an evangelist. What will happen if you just uh, you are just a builder, if you are just a servant, but you are not talking of uh, what people need for their soul? A builder, a servant, an evangelist. <laughs> an evangelist is always sharing about salvation. Someone whom people want when they have nothing to hope anymore and to this earth. Do you know that uh, in 70 years, you may, I may not be here anymore. And then what? So we have to anticipate what will happen after death. That is the reason the evangelist is taking care of that part. And as an evangelist, you need to encourage with softness. Do you have that uh, hardness when you tell truth to people that they want to leave the church because of the truth you're presenting to them? There is a part that uh, Ellen G. White said, I don't want to, to, to play with plagiarism, but let me just uh, tell what I, I remember that before you destroy the, the, the small house that is of, of, of uh, people built for uh, of what they know, build for them a palace of truth first. Let me repeat it again. Before you destroy the weak house of unknown, uh, uh, let us say, of um, um, what you can tell for, help me for that one. You need to build my dictionary as well. Ignorance. 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 Yes, I like that uh, term. Before you destroy the weak house of ignorance of people, build for them a palace of truth first. That's the reason you encourage, but with what? Softness. Softness. So better for you and me to be silent if we don't have that tree of character to tell truth. Because there are some people outside of the church, like me, who are willing to leave that church and join this church, if they know the truth. So help other people like me to join this church. The second time before we close is bring forgiveness with hope. Do you know that a lot of people, like the one whom they left in, uh, inside of that house when they destroyed the, the what you call it? That man whom uh, they entered with, uh, with uh, his bed inside of the house, that man was sick. But what he wanted not, was not illness. What he wanted was what? Forgiveness. Forgiveness. There are a lot of people close to you. Wherever you go, they just need forgiveness. They, they feel so heavy with their hurt. They feel so heavy with their life that they need a small voice of hope from your mouth. Will you work with God to tell hope for them? How many people are so sad, making suicide? because of lack of hope. But today, God is calling you to be the person of the situation to bring such thing. And the last one, draw people to Jesus with love. Don't draw them to you. That is called politics. 
draw people to Jesus. That's what we need to do. We need to make people Christians, not our friends. We are not called to, be, to make friends into this church. No, we are called to call, to, to call people to make collaborators with God. And if you are not working with God, as Jesus said, then you are just sending people outside of the church. We need to draw people close to Jesus. But more than that one, you need to be close to Jesus. Amen. I need to be close to Jesus. So today, my wish for every one of you is that you will be the person of a situation. Amen. Number one, you have to be a builder. Number two, you have to be a servant. And number three, an evangelist. But I listen to you whispering. But uh, may I ask you to uh, repeat with me in a loud voice, please? Number one, builder. No, no, no. I don't listen to you. I don't, I don't hear you. Okay, number one. Builder. Number two, a servant. And number three, evangelist. Who is that person? Me. Yes. May God help you to be that person. Amen. Amen. Amen.